Harbor, Raid, and the worst duelist. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect ascent comp. But Professor Viper accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Paper Rex. Thus, one of the best teams in Professional Valorant were born! Paper Rex are the most aggressive, unpredictable players in all of Tier 1 Valorant history. Every game of theirs is something special, as they bust out never-before-seen plays piled on top of comps you never even considered running in your ranked games. What? And sprinkle in a super-secret flash that is literally impossible to counter? You, my friends, have a recipe for dominance. This specific powerhouse swims in confidence, and their opponents are terrified to play against them. Today, we're breaking down how their patented ascent comp dismantled anyone standing in their way. If you've never watched Paper X before, you need to get out from under your rock and watch these guys. They come up with the craziest strats and comps that completely challenge the way that Valorant is played, and this pistol round is no different. They have five people ready to gun it up mid through their Viper's Wall, and unbeknownst to them, this is the perfect strat. Foot are fighting A main with a deep KO knife and recon dart, and on B, they're contesting this space with an Omen one way and Killjoy alarm bot. But these are all for nothing. Paper Rex kick their start off by dry peeking Catwalk. Device Trailblazer sends it through the wall, and Harbor Cascades Cat, and it eventually flushes through Tree. Combined with this toxic screen, they deny vision from the most common places people love to spot from in Tree. So KO has no idea what's going on in here. But no one's in there. It's all fake commotion. This death ball is plowing through mid, and wait a minute, where are they going? With that harbor, but for now it looks like they're just going to go ahead and shove everybody down mid. Get ready to rush out, we're into the spawn, and Mr. Fallen's caught by oh! the flash, but still manages to find two. Traded back though, something in mind for getting one of Paper X used their poison cloud and cascade to cut off both sides of spawn, and Rainy's dismiss denied a trade. And now just look at the map. This strat is so nuts that the attackers look like defenders. They decide to head to B, but leave Mind Freak behind to catch some rotates with his big smoke. Something gets healed back to full, but do they expect Moj and B main? It's 100. Inching his way forward, Moj waiting on the cross, tries to line up the head, can't quite get it, just a little bit whiffy. With the B anchor down, Paper X get in and plant the spike close spawn so they can play up with their Viper. Now the original A players haven't heard a thing all round and have made their way through top cat, through mid, and are now finally in B main. Kiwi peeks out to sight, spots something jump spotting on stairs, and takes a few shots. But something calls for a sky flash, and they throw out their flash combo. What's gonna happen is that people will dodge or get blinded by the bird, but when they look back, there's a big scary eyeball scrambling your vision. It didn't work here, but just you wait. Now, Kiwi isn't out yet, and the attackers fall back to sight and solidify a crossfire with their Viper. But Cracks' knife snuffs it out. They know exactly how Paper Rex are playing this. Up and on the jingle, we'll take a little bit of damage. Sends down the bite. Flashback. The flash goes up over the top. Cracks looking for the entry. Drops down something. Gonna get caught up. Ends up getting taken down, but now it's gonna be a 1v2. Cracks at 40 HP. Look to try to bring this one back, but he cannot get it done. Paper Rex will find the opening round. Paper X's push spawn strat took foot off guard, and they adapted on the fly perfectly by instantly and confidently deciding to go B. And this isn't even close to their most insane strat that we're breaking down. It, it gets better. Now, Foot aren't going down easy. They won the Eco with some disgusting Sheriff shots and took the lead after winning the following anti-Eco. But Paper X hit back with some plays of their own. In this round, the attackers went for an A split using their walls that isolate off tree and then sight one piece at a time. Something got the entry and Mr. Fallen tried to punish by clogging up this lane with his Hunter's Fury, but something dodged it with his dismiss, like a smooth criminal. Paper X end up winning the round, but both teams are looking sharp. Now the attackers need a round to try and build some momentum for themselves and break the stalemate, and they have just the strat to do so. They have four players ready to pounce onto a site, and their raise is all alone? Maybe she's going for a lurk. I mean, weird considering she's their only space maker. But Foot have a good setup to counter this A push in their 2-3 info on B and anchor on A setup with Jet poking around mid with her op. Now, right before the barrier drops, Mind Freak lays out a wall to block both bottom mid and catwalk a surprise tool that will help raise later. But when the buy phase ends, Paper X throw out a Cascade, Leer, and Trailblazer to overwhelm anyone in A-Main, and Harbor rips his Reckoning. But what's Raze doing? Yeah, he's gonna pull the Showstopper off the back of that one. Macho over finding an opening kill, takes him down. Paper X made so much noise for Jing that he was able to fly up Catwalk instantly and blindside Kiwi. Now with tree control, Paper X can funnel in pretty safe, and Attic Captain is getting overwhelmed. 
he deploys a sight smoke to turtle up in and buy time for rotates. The sight smokes like these give anchors more room to play with and they can be tough to clear out and deal with for attackers if their spacing isn't right. So can Paper X air it out? As Jing brings that forward into the A site, which is now gonna be occupied here from the side of Paper X. Fallen still playing elusively, or rather had a captain, playing elusively, gets around the backside, finds Forsaken, mind free. From spawn, Cracks lobbed a flash for his omen to peek out with, but he got traded. The site now belongs to Paper X, and now they're faced with another problem. Foot have activated their kills at lockdown to retake the site, uh, do the attackers plant and play for spam? Or do they get out and reset the round? Since they have so much time left on the clock, they opt for the later choice. But Mind Freak makes the instant decision to leave a main and head towards mid to use his wall again. He's going to backstab the defenders as his teammates go for the rehit. But it looks like Moj might be expecting this. In wine. Mind Freak trying to work off the back of that, and he might catch him in the back, but Mr. Fallen is good to get two! And that's going to be the spike now drop. Paper X just needed to stay alive and provide a distraction for their Viper, but got mowed down by the Odin instead. Now, I think that Foot also thought that Viper was in this small pocket that was left in the ult, but they eventually deal with the Lurk after her teammates got too aggressive. Around the backside, doesn't take any chances, pulls the trigger as soon as he spots one, but he cannot line up the other. The cracks will be the finisher yet again. Now for the rest of the first half, Paper X's fast hit stopped working, and they decided to change up their game plan. They felt like they kept running into three defenders whenever they hit a site. So when that happens, you want to slow it down, break some sudden utility to make sure that the defense is more spread out to watch these new lanes that you've just opened up. But foot are good, really good at ascent. Uh, like in this round, Paper X did default into mid. They sent their trailblazer through market, and after scaling out, they used their tree walls to bait over a rotate, which they did and then even scaled further to break the alarm bot. Naturally, Jet got off A to pick up mid, meaning this would be the perfect time Paper X would want to hit. There's only two defenders here, but Foot are good with their utility and KO knifed Market, clearing it out for the next 10 or so seconds. This allowed Jet to stay A and help contest the eventual execute with her site teammates. Respond with some shock darts. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be walking into this Odin spray as well. Oh, Out of Captain, oh, oh. back Jen, managing to find one, something gonna be taken down, the swing out, Mr. Fallen finding one, Forsaken Mind Freak getting one apiece. They're trying to bring this back into parity, but Kiwi. Yeah, this doesn't look so good if you're a Paper X fan. And it looked like this for the rest of the half. Now going down eight to four isn't the greatest thing in the world but Ascent is a defensive sided map. And when you have a playbook like Paper X's, a comeback is almost guaranteed to go down. But if it's going to happen, it has to start with Pistol. Now Foot have some pretty sick strats as well for running a standard run of the mill comp. They're selling a big fake in their 1-4 A-sided setup, but they're ending B. This is fantastic recognition from Foot. They realize that the defense doesn't have a Sentinel to hold map control for them. Also, you have one person sitting here tanking Sky Flashes, meaning this setup is the best way to manipulate rotations as much as possible and catch defenders out of position. Paper Rex need to be careful not to over rotate. But it's going to be hard not to when Foot opens around with a quick paranoia to emulate a fast A take. This flash is always used at the start of an execute as it's undodgeable and forces anyone playing close back while they'll get hit by the utility that you use after it. It is perfect for scaling up quickly on this map. And Paper Rex are already rotating over. Now, once this dart lands, the defense are convinced that an A split is coming. These three move further up Catwalk, and KO flings his knife to sell even harder behind his jet's cloudburst and dash sound. Now, the knife is tagged three, so even if they were going A, the mid-round call would be the easiest thing. Go B. And this fake has worked so well that four members of Paper Rex are still sitting here waiting while Foot are pivoting back into mid. This was their plan this whole time. Now, once the defense hears the stampede charge at mid, they start to rotate back. But now, it's all up to Harbor to stall for as long as he can. Shot's gonna be broken down, walls coming up. Forsaken doing his damn, this is trying to dissuade them from pushing forward here into the side as Jinko's rushing out, frenzy in hand, but Kiwi shuts him down. Forsaken inching forward, finds oh. one, gets himself a second. Keeping things a little bit more narrow here, a little bit more tied up, but Hipper X will be able to inch forward, take the lead once again, and something finds himself a second elimination here in the pistol, and Paper X will be again. Forsaken bought just enough time for his teammates to flood in behind his cascade. Before the execute started, he threw one up to create a lane from spawn to boathouse or site. And then he repositioned to lane and used his Viper's one-way smoke to eviscerate the offense, allowing his team to funnel in behind their Reyna Leer. And once something got that extra armor buff, Foot were not coming back into this round. And we're just barely scratching the surface of this comp. It looks good on defense, even without a Sentinel. Paper X are running it down. 
On bonus or eco rounds, teams will look to make more aggressive plays, as if they just sit around and let the offense execute they should, in theory, lose. So they either group up like a death ball to try and combine their firepower for a stronger push, or try to enable their few rifles to rack up as much damage as possible. Now, something is the only one with a Vandal this round, and he's going full raid boss. He set up a fast push here. Now they're pushing the pace. Oh yeah, Tile's crunching that captain. He is just not the wise and didn't know what hit him. Oh, Swing oh, in, oh. something finds a follow-up headshot, cracks gonna be taken down, and takes a casual little dismiss back out to safety. Harbor starts by cascading off top mid, allowing his Reyna to sprint behind her Skybird and combo it with a Leer of her own to create an undodgeable super flash. When people see a Skybird headed their way, they naturally turn away from it and hit the subscribe button so they don't get hit with the full duration. The issue is though, when they turn back around, they're met with a full face of this spooky eyeball. But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. This combo covers every option that you use normally to deal with a flash. You can't turn from it or you'll be nearsighted, and you can't tank it because the sky flash lasts too long, and you also have to worry about somebody shooting at you. And you could also reverse this combo too. Reyna leers, and then when people go to shoot it, Sky pops her bird in front of it and blinds them again. This is one of the most broken combos in the game, and just look at the damage it's caused. Paper X has total mid control, and now Viper and Harbor are working double time to try and get their teammates out of there. We see a cascade for tiles, an eventual high tide, but once their Viper's mana recharges, she casts up her wall and the defense scurry back into their defensive positions. Now normally when the defense does something this aggressive, you want to push other areas and take the free map control. But you tell me, if you're Sova, are you pushing through one, two, and three layers of this toxic screen? No, of course not. B was wide open, but with all this commotion going down in mid, Foot got caught with her pants down. The three remaining survivors wander around and try to make a play, but yeah, no. Now, if you thought that that play was aggressive, just you wait and see what else this team has in store. Now, a big secret ingredient to running these Reyna comms is that you need someone who's got aim more cracked than my phone screen and something ace last round. And there's not much to break down, but he just swung everything and it looked really cool. Yeah. Foot can find themselves another thrifty. Something is going to be noted, and he just swings out to take down Mr. Fall, and the blind is still through there on the Maj as well. He knows that they're going to be going in against the lighter by, and now he's got himself a third. He's looking for the fourth, and something is on for the ace. Kiwi tucked into the corner. Can he shut it down? Can he deny it away? No, he cannot. With that, the game is tied. Paper X have their swagger back. I think I got my swagger back. Oh, oh. And in a game like Valorant, being confident is arguably the most important skill to have. But sometimes, too much of a good thing can end up turning sour. Foot are set up in a 4-1 default. Like I've mentioned, this is the perfect counter to a sky comp. Her birds only tell you that someone is there, and not how many. So you can leave one side of your default week, but the enemy team won't know that. And by eating these flashes, you'll keep the defense anchored with their uncertainty. Now, after getting rolled in mid, they're focusing on taking B main instead. But Paper X know that this reaction is likely, and they're reading into it in their initial 1-2-2 setup. Foot are aggressive in the early round with a Paranoia and KO Knife for B main, and Paper X leered mid behind a Sky Flash. It looks like Rain is contesting mid, so the attackers take B main. But Paper X are bringing the fight and another broken flash to them. Low buy. Oh, but something just plays up the back of the fake flash. These are the mind games of Sky Flashes. Earlier, they saw the defense combo their flashes and expected that same thing. But this time, they just sent the bird flying. You don't know when Sky is popping this thing, if ever. And then instead of a big purple near sight following it up, they got a big purple something. And to top this play off, Harbor cut off anyone trying to trade with this Cascade. Foot just lost their space maker and need to find the equalizer. Both teams trade out their drones, and after hearing the offense run away, Harbor walls them in. But the attackers can't just leave. They need to dissect the site and find someone. So Mr. Fallen pins his recon dart on Giraffe, and this clears Boathouse. No one's there. Cracks Molly's logs. Nothing. And they start spamming Market after tagging Jing with their knife. But Divide flashes, swings, and gives Foot exactly what they were looking for. An opening. Uh, not only that, but that was Paper Rex's only information. Without her, it's impossible to know what the defense is up to next. And Moj has found a lurk through a main during the chaos and is taking the site. So his teammates start coming back to him. But on their way, Jing is gathering information the only way Paper Rex know how to. With confidence. <laughs> and Forsaken heard Foot rotate out and followed them all the way through B main. He swings mid next, but he gets traded out. This cockiness has killed Paper Rex this round. And that's all the B players down. 
Killjoy sprints through Tree, trying to regroup with her teammates, but something pops out of the smoke and punishes her for running. He now has the read, and knifes out to try and find an unexpected timing on the two remaining attackers. Rotations, they know exactly where they are. No leers to play with. A couple seconds Ten to spare seconds here. Left. The plant will come down. Spike planted. For the time to play with, and if anybody can do it right now, it is something. If he can come away with one, he's got the dismiss available. Two of them to play with. Swing in. I'm Ooh, not going to be able to pop it fast enough. Paper Rex aren't letting the last round get to them. Their confidence is impenetrable, and that's what you need if you want to play at this high of a level. Something's even picked up an op this round, and as long as he hits a shot, which we know he will, he can turn Reyna into just as good as an opping agent as Jet is. And Forsaken's got himself an Odin. Usually on Ascent, you'll see Sobus and Fades sitting lane and unloading their mags through this wall once they get tags. But Paper X don't have these abilities, so by putting Harbor here in lane, he might catch foot off guard. Plus, Ascent is just made out of paper mache, and I think every team should have a designated Odin player. But that's another story. Foot are in their anti-sky for one default and are still prioritizing B main. But they start in positions to counter an aggressive play where everyone can swing off each other. But Sova recons catwalk, it tags nothing, and Kiwi updrafts to catch him. But he's already tucked away. But now that they know Rain is opping and not running it down mid, they feel safer to take B main. But because something got pushed off the angle, Jing feels like it's up to him to make a play next. Forsaken cascades B main and Ray's Boombot shortly after. Mr. Fallen counters it with his drone, forcing Paper X to start backpedaling. And Forsaken got tagged. He can't go to lane and spam his Odin. He might get spammed himself. It's just too risky. Then Nata Captain paranoia's B main to make sure it's clear. And now Jing has had enough. Market door again. It's gonna be shut out. Showstopper Ooh. sent through an out of cap that he can't get away from it. Foot smokes got blown to smithereens. Foot then quickly pivoted into mid behind their cloudburst. They're going to gun it through tree and funnel to A that way. But Paper X have taken a main after being pushed off catwalk and not being pressured here. Foot are about to run right back into the sob. Looking to get up in front of the Viper wall, but oh, rare whip. Shorting out the push into the smoke and the right click does not connect. Something shuts him down. The Reckoning forcing Maj forward. Forsaken will find the elimination. Something gonna get caught off guard, but so too is Mr. Fallen. His mind freak off that flank. Makes his presence known, and we are tied up yet again at 9 to 9. This bold showstopper play caused a chain reaction that ended in Foot having a discombobulated execute. Paper X just keep hitting us with explosive play after explosive play. This ship is sinking fast for Foot. Paper X's money is spiraling out of control, they've just lost another eco, and now they're taking a timeout to try and figure out where things went south. Okay, so we tried B a bunch, that didn't work, we got run over in mid. Do you guys think they've ever worried about A main? Yeah, but there's a big scary wall there. It's like an ogre. It has a lot of layers. Dude, what? Foot talked about how not even once this game have they really pressured A main. Paper X have never had to worry about this part of the map, thanks to this wall that kind of splits itself into three. It's hard to push, especially when Viper's starting here every round, threatening you with a snake bite. But they aren't afraid anymore. Not with KO's no command. Well, Jet might be, because she's lurking up mid. But Paper X predicted this A take. There's three players here. And as soon as the round starts, Mind Freak launched the snake bite, canceling out Foot's paranoia and trapping them behind the first section of the wall. But the attackers aren't backing down or giving up. KO activates his ultimate and Foot charges full speed ahead. Exchange, but now not available from the side of Paper Rex. The old command does look to escort them forward. There's the tag off the drone. Defy, however, managing to find two, gets himself a third. Mr. Fallen will be able to get the punish there with that Hunter Spirit, but so much damage dealt. Now Kiwi spotted, tagged up, dashes out. The one shot left in the shorty, not gonna be able to find the connection there. It does not matter. This Paper X will shut it down. Uh, Paper X had the read, and things are starting to really get out of hand. Foot are straight up getting embarrassed. I mean, just look at how their last eco round ended. He tries to get himself in underneath the door. Can't make it happen, but Jing arrives and back. Jen shuts out at a captain. And now it's all on Mr. Fallen, classic in hand. As I mean, he's just <laughs> running at him with an Odin. Like, he's just, he just runs right past. You absolute <laughs> madman. Don't you think that's a little humiliating? Paper X have all the momentum, but Foot are world-class players. It's gonna take a lot more than that to take them out of this game. You just don't know when to give up, do you? I'm gonna do this all day. 
but they're tired of fighting the mains and are focusing on creating presence mid to alleviate some of the swing pressure before hitting a site. Forsaken opens up the round by ripping his Odin through B main to make room for Jing to tuck into this cubby and form a crossfire with him. Moj got hit hard and his turret's broken, but his teammates have started their mid default. They've smoked off both catwalk and arches, knowing that something is opping. Then he rotates off of B now that his teammates are set up, but foot scale up deeper into mid behind their KO knife for arches and then their recon dart into market. But it's not tagging the operator. He's just sitting in the doorway. But Foot aren't moving any closer. They know Paper Rex love to peek out and make plays. He's moved up. He's gonna get Ooh. jumped down. Great covering fire there from the side of Atta Captain. Finds that kill. Jing, however, gets the punish. Mod's gonna be taken out. That means a lockdown cannot come through in this round. So the rest of Foot. Jing and something both swung, and both teams trade one player apiece. Now, after creating so much pressure on B, the attackers cloudburst spawn and hightail it to A to split through tree. Change direction. Oh, the one tap divide. Scoped in, finds one, tries to hold down the spray, can't make it happen to Mr. Fallen, flushes Mind Freak out of one. That's Three versus two. Foot have the sight, but are pretty low. Harbor's already here with his Odin, and he sprays down Mr. Fallon. Foot are now all really low, and Forsaken knows this. In the rear, though. Get some shots through, Mr. Fallen's gonna be taken low, the drop down into the cove, the punch oh. aggressively. <laughs> Forsaken wasn't expecting it, Kiwi. While that might have looked troll, it was actually a decent play. By deploying Harbor's Cove like this, you give yourself a couple options. You can swing through the other side, use it to get into hell without getting shot at, or use it to jump around Jenny pretty safely. This bubble becomes a nightmare for attackers, especially because you can't really shoot it. Because if you do, Harbor's going to know exactly where you're at and then punish. But here, Eddie Captain heard his footsteps as he dropped and backstabbed him. Uh, but the cove is still up. Uh, how does Jing plan to use it? Kiwi gives him a bit of his own medicine here. Jing finding one. As you mentioned, Showstopper is available. And now, jumping out, gets one with a shorty, but Mr. Fallen narrowly manages to find his head. Paperx just got punished for being too aggressive, and in such a close game, surely they'd turn it down a notch, right? Wrong. Paperx punched back by being more aggro. Jing flew out of B with the showstopper and behind Sky's flash. Harbor cascaded catwalk, and they comboed another flash through tiles. Harbor then used his cove to make sure his teammates wouldn't get pinched on their escape. Now, I don't hate the play. I mean, I don't think a team would expect you to push out again after it failing just the round before. But Foot handled it pretty well. They're up a player, but something has the read. He knows Foot have learned from before and are now headed towards B. But something pops his Empress and beats them there. Popped as the spike is getting planted here at B in a moment. Oh, something just holds it down. Finds himself a third of the round, might be looking for a fourth. He would have seen him. Knows that Captain was around Alley. He's just going to be slow walking as quietly as he possibly can. Mind Freak watching the back angle, however, ready for the punish. And only take one bullet to finish him off. The creep across. Attic Captain needs to hit the shot of his life, but he cannot get it done. Something uses this miss to grab extra information through the smoke, and his team close out the game. And just like that, Paper X have proved to us fans that being aggressive or running Reyna isn't puggy or square. She just has to be set up properly, just like we saw in this other video right here.